In the 1950s, the Soviet Union developed the MiG-21. It was a fast and inexpensive fighter. In the 50s and the early 60s, the Soviet Union shared much of its conventional weapons technology with China. One result of this was the Shenyang J-6, which was a Chinese copy of the MiG-19. A project was also started to produce a Chinese copy of the MiG-21. This copy would become the Chengdu J-7. However in 1960, the political relations between China and the Soviet Union broke down. The J-7 project was halted. In 1962, the Soviet Premier Khrushchev informed Chinese leader Mao Zedong that he would be willing to share MiG-21 technology with China. Chinese representatives were sent to Moscow, and was given the opportunity to spend three days at the MiG-21's production facility. The Chinese prepared to reverse-engineer the MiG-21. The Soviet Union sent several MiG-21s to China, along with technical documents, to Shenyang Aircraft Factory. But some of the documents were incomplete, and several parts of the MiGs were unusable. Chinese engineers started working, solved hundreds of technical issues and reproduced several technical documents. A major flaw with the hydraulic systems was solved, and the fuel tanks were redesigned to solve a problem with the MiG-21's fuel storage. The Chinese also replaced the Soviet ejection seat with their own technology. The completed Chengdu J-7 showed only minor differences in design and performance from the original MiG. Production of the J-7 began in March 1964, but the unexpected outbreak of the Cultural Revolution soon became a big problem. The progress was slow, and the quality poor. Full-scale production was not possible until the 1980s, and by that time the J-7 was becoming obsolete. The J-7 was in production for nearly a half century. During this time, more than 90 different versions were made. In 1987, the J-7E was released. The J-7E was significantly upgraded compared to the first version. Its performance was vastly improved, and it used better electronic components. It was also equipped with a helmet-mounted sight, and was capable of using PL-8 missiles. Later versions had significantly improved radar systems. The Chengdu J-7 was exported to many countries in Africa and Asia. The J-7 participated in a number of wars, including the Second Sudanese Civil War, the Uganda-Tanzania War and the Libyan-Egyptian War. Production of the J-7 went on for 50 years, and was finally stopped in 2013. More than 2,400 aircraft were produced.